talking about your conditional logic if else is talking about while search cases it's talking about arrays and namespaces let's let's just walk through this right okay. because i don't think there's much to explain in this mm -hmm. and quick question mm -hmm. am i after this am i going to get some slides back or anything like that or? Yes, sure. Uh, I'll I'll okay. give you the sites. I'll give you some study okay. material as well. What okay. I'll do is I've got uh, I'll teach you this whatever I can. Then I'll share some videos. Okay. Is that okay? I've yeah, got yeah, yeah. I, I've got some plural site videos for .NET 4.5. There's some advanced version of it. Since advanced plural site membership, I can do that too. Okay. So they're good videos. You know, if you have got time, you can look at them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we were talking about conditions. I guess if else else if this is all clear, I do I need to yeah, explain. Right? No, 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 you can no, skip this. Yeah. For loop. Yeah, that's good. For each loop. Yep. Okay, I'll More tell I'll loop. I'll tell you a, a small story. Okay, about while okay. loop and do while loop. When I'm entering my room, what do I usually do? I'll simply you know knock down the door and I'll say say barge in and go inside and set right. Yes. Yeah. And when you are entering your friends or maybe your brothers, maybe your sister or maybe anybody's room, you'll knock first and then you'll go in. Mm -hmm. So this is what the difference between the while loop and do while is. While loop is you first check whether the condition is satisfied. Means you knock, you'll mm -hmm. you'll knock and then you'll be pushed back that you're not allowed. Means you'll not even enter the room. You'll not even enter the condition. And do while is when you you enter your room without anybody permission, then it's their decision. Means I entered my room, but my mom was there. She was, she just threw me back out of the room because she had the authority. Means the condition got failed. But I at least entered once. That's the difference between while and do while. Do while. At least you do it once before yeah. you check. Exactly. Okay. We have got arrays in C sharp. And how do I create an array? I can create an array called a single dimensional array. I can create a multi dimensional array, and I can create a jagged array. So I, let's just see how these things are done. So do you have the certification for this course too? Yes. I did oh, it. Oh, no. I, no, to be very frank, uh, the questions that I have given you, if you practice them enough, that will be more than enough for the examination. Okay. Because I tried to take one and I was asking more about serialization, but I'm like, oh, I don't know much about serialization. Did you go through the questions that I have given you already? No, not that one, but I got some other from 7483. Mm-hmm. Questions I mostly asked about, like, the person that asked about serialization, then I did no, 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 no. like, oh. no, no, look at these questions. Did the questions, mm -hmm. just go through them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you do, uh, it, they do have questions about serialization. So yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. And don't worry you about serialization. Yeah. Yes. I will be covering the JSON serialization, XML serialization, binary serialization. Don't worry. I'll tell you okay. what exactly is this, what, how does we do that, how do we serialize, and how do we consume it, right? Okay. So how many certifications do you have? Me, do I. You teach the ASP dot net too. ASP, MVC. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on CT. I'm Microsoft certified trainer. Ah, okay. Uh, so I'll, that means you have to take. I've done, take yes, I've done almost all the certifications. I've done certifications of 3.5, 4.0, and 4.5. But uh, then how do you do, man? You just study all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's it's not so easy in India, you know. I don't know how Indian people put study that much, man. Like you know, like even the people that I know, they just study, study, and they just go write exams. <laughs> I'm just so scared of exams. Even if I tell you I'm so scared to write exams. See, uh, I'm telling you one thing. Anybody, look, see, whatever happened yesterday might be a technical fault, right? Might be, uh, might be fault from admin side or whatever. But any employee of this company, they are gems. I've got employees or people working with me who are crowned as number three in the world. Uh, number three in their own technologies. Number second in their own technology in throughout world. And people who like those are working here. So I'm telling you, this company got quite many gems with them. Um, That's the only thing I didn't, as before I was kind of skeptical, is like, I know a couple of people that worked with me. Mm -hmm. They even had, like when I was in network, they had like the VMware certification, they passed with like 98 or something like that, like good average. Mm -hmm. And when you really do work with them, like, you know, like <laughs> I did some, and they didn't know shit all. I'm like, yeah, they don't know anything, yes. There was this talking, uh, we were like, so, like, I was part of the interview too, like, I interviewed them, you know, you asked a question, they're like, boom, just straight <laughs> off, and you know, like, even, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> then you, when you work 
from them. It was asking me questions that was when I'm doing some VMware stuff, and he was like, "Oh, how do you do? do how do you do?" I was like, "What the hell? You have a certification? <laughs> I don't even have it." <laughs> it happens. But it happens. I, See, certification doesn't mean that you have the knowledge. Certification seriously doesn't mean you, it's all your hard work. You know, the, the things that I know, the things that I've accomplished in my career is I'm not a developer. I'm a trainer. So my job is to uh, simplify things. My job is not to complicate the things which are already there. Hello. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is what I have done. I've I've created stories. I've created examples in my head. I've I've thought about how the C sharp compiler things, how the things work in the background. This is what I have accomplished. Uh, I I you know I've worked on AC dot net. I myself I worked as uh, in the beginning I was a developer. I worked as a developer for a year. Then I switched my job from developer to training. And I love this profile so much that I stood here. Now I'm still I'm still here. I'm still going to be here forever. This is a nice profile. I got to right now. I'm preparing myself for SharePoint. Have you heard about SharePoint? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Tools of development for SharePoint. Great. I did real, I did, I did like the parts and stuff. I did a lot of work. <laughs> I'm good with logic, but some of the concepts I don't understand. And I'm like, you know, that's why I didn't really pursue that job. Fine, I'm not saying that you should pursue that job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 y
that I must divide the name of the class with the proper case. If the capital F or small i l e that makes means I need to know that what exactly is the name of the class and write it in the proper case, then I can use control dot to resolve that for me. Okay. We have got a debugging feature. We have got step in, step it, or uh, step over and step out. And how do we do that? Yes, and then F nine to right? Yes. Yeah. I've got F nine to apply breakpoint. Okay. Look at I've got step into with the help of F eleven. Mm -hmm. I've got step over with the help of F ten. Okay. So step over is the one that tips the message. Like if you are in a let's say while loop or something. Well, look at this. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'll comment this out, the entire thing. So am I doing some kind of stuff? Me? No, no, no. I'm just uh, uh, creating a, a scenario. Okay. So I just want to show you that what is F10 and F11 does, right? So I'll put a breakpoint here, right? And I'll also put a breakpoint here. So when I run my application, I'm here, right? So if I press F11. Oh, I see. F11 will go into the thing. Yes, I'm out, right? And yes. when I press F10, where am I? I didn't go inside the method 2, but I went straight outside. So this is the difference. Now do you see the difference? Yes. So I guess the basic... But it won't help much with the loop. If I'm already inside the loop, then I'll press, and I want to ex, you know, uh, exit this, that loop, what I'll do is I'll press Shift F10 if I'm not wrong. It's like Shift F11. Oh, step out, okay. Yes. Step uh, over is to just skip the entire method. Step out is if you are inside the loop, uh, you want to go outside it, then you'll press step F11. Okay, that's what I was trying to get. Okay, the one day. Okay. Okay.